and welcome back to my channel. I'm Makeup by D. Today's video is going to be Battle of the Mascara Showdown review of the most popular mascaras from Maybelline Cosmetics. Most talked about, most seen in magazines, most raved of mascara on YouTube, and one of them you're going to find out are my favorite today. I wear them in every video. I wear them in tutorials lately, and you can tell if you've been watching me since day one, my mascaras have really switched up. So, in this corner, it is the Rocket Mascara. The, excuse me, let me rephrase that. Maybelline New York, the Rocket Mascara. In this corner, in this corner, Maybelline the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. So this is in the shade. I just did that. I know. This is in the shade. Very blocked and it's not waterproof. Regular formula. This is in the shade. Black is black. So, two cool, awesome mascaras have the most highly, most rated mascaras, seen in all kinds of magazines, has been talked about, Cele celebrities has been talking about it, it has been featured in the most blogs ever, popular blogs, least popular blogs, I will be blogging about it soon at wordpress.com. It has been featured in most blogs. So, the Mega Plush, which is in this corner, the pros of the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara are, is which I'm going to discuss while I am demonstrating it on this eye, and then the pros and cons of the Rockets is which I'm going to definitely discuss in the pros and cons. I really, really, really think that these mascaras are worth the raves, but one has to be chosen out of this video. But it's going to be hard. I'm going to talk about each mascara, show you guys what, why I like them, etc. I like the packaging on both of them, so I have to give Maybelline those. I really love all of Maybelline packaging on their mascaras because they're really super cute. Haven't got my hands on the falsies yet, so I might do a comparison there. And I haven't got the other mascaras, which I don't really know by heart. But anyways. The Mega Blush Volume Mascara is which I'm going to do first. So let's get ready to rumble. So first up, I'm going to be applying the Mega Blush on this eye, and let's get started. I normally apply two coats. Blend in my eyeshadow really quickly. Okay, let's see. Okay, so about this mascara. The wand itself is pretty okay. I really think they could have kind of swerved the wand just a little bit with this mascara. But I really think that it got my lashes pretty, pretty well. But here's the problem. The problem is about this mascara 
And so I'm gonna go ahead and give you the pros of what I think about this mascara before I go into the problem I wanna jump ahead of myself. But the pros of this mascara I have to say is cheap. Um the volume texture is easy to use, but the cause is it's the cons about this mascara is the lengthening ability. I want a mascara, if I'm gonna pay about five to six dollars on, I really want a mascara that is really, you know, gonna do what it's supposed to do. And it don't even look like I have on any on. I put three coats instead of two. And to be honest with you guys, I don't really like it because I like to see my lashes out there a little bit better. You know, I want the volume to show because I like the packaging. The packaging is okay, but I don't think it's really worth the hype. It's like a lot of people say this mascara should be known as, but um, I don't have a problem with the formula. It's just the volume that doesn't give me that's what I have the problem with maybe this is not the type of mascara for the people that love volume volume mascaras like they want volume to their lashes like myself I like volume so I have to kind of give this one a thumbs down because I like the packaging the packaging is okay I don't really use it like I like every day I do use it in videos but I mean I think that this one could have been a lot better, Maybelline. I'm sorry. I have to give the Makeup Flush a thumbs down. So, on this corner is the Rocket Mascara on this side of my face. I'm going to use the Rocket Mascara. On this side is the Makeup Blush. On this side is the Rocket Mascara. So, let's get ready to rumble. So on this side, I'm going to get ready to apply the Mega Plush, uh, excuse me, the Rocket Mascara by Maybelline. So let's go ahead and apply the Mega, excuse me, the Rocket Volume Mascara. The formula is kind of dry. Not as wet. It allows my lower lashes to look good compared to the but the mega plush. Let's see how a second cut would do. And yes, I do not curl my lashes at all, so I'm afraid to do that. Blend in my eyeshadow. The wand I do like. I do like the wand. I do like that it's more wider and sturdy and it applies very, very well. The wand is perfect. I do like the bristles on the wand. I do like how it gets my upper lashes really well and also my lower lashes are perfect. So the pros of the, of the Rocket Mascara are for myself, my, my, pros about the Maybelline Rocket Mascara is that no clumping. This is a really perfect mascara for volumey, lengthening. It works well. It gets the upper lashes and lower lashes. It treats it fairly. It treats it equal. It doesn't ruin your eyeshadow as much like the Mega Plush does. It doesn't, I mean, it does everything a volumizing mascara is supposed to do. The volume is 10 times better than the Mega Plush. I really, really like the Rocket better because the Rocket gives the volume. It just does everything a mascara is supposed to do. 
it was volumized. It gives everything a mascara is supposed to do. I love it. So, if you guys are wondering what is my favorite, once again, the Mega Plush. Once again, the Rocket <laughs> Mascara. And my favorite mascara from Maybelline New York is out of the Rocket and the Maybelline Mega Plush is General Please. I cannot wait to let you guys know. It is the Rocket Mascara. Volume Express. That is my favorite Maybelline mascara. I have to say, and I think that Maybelline should do a little bit better with the Rock with the Maybelline Pump Crush, but the Rocket is the best. So that's all for now. If you want more reviews of a product, let me know in the comments below, like this, and check out WordPress.com. My blog post will be down below. I had really fun, enjoyed my time making this video. It was pretty cool, pretty different, pretty awesome. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.